turbocharger. Have you ever watched cars buzzing past you with sooty fumes streaming from their tailpipe? It's obvious exhaust fumes cause air pollution, but it's much less apparent that they're wasting energy at the same time. The exhaust is a mixture of hot gases pumping out at speed and all the energy it contains, the heat and the motion, kinetic energy, is disappearing uselessly into the atmosphere. Wouldn't it be neat, if the engine could harness that waste power, somehow to make the car go faster? That's exactly what a turbocharger does. How does turbocharging work? A turbocharger is effectively two little air fans, sitting on the same metal shaft, so that both spin around together. One of these fans, called the turbine, sits in the exhaust stream from the cylinders. As the cylinders blow hot gas past the fan blades, they rotate and the shaft they're connected to rotates as well. The second fan is called the compressor, and since it's sitting on the same shaft as the turbine, it spins too. It's mounted inside the car's air intake so, as it spins, it draws air into the car and forces it into the cylinders. Where does the extra power come from? Turbochargers give a car more power, but that extra power is not coming directly from the waste exhaust gas, and that sometimes confuses people. With a turbocharger, we harness some of the energy in the exhaust to drive the compressor, which allows the engine to burn more fuel each second. This extra fuel is where the car's extra power comes from. All the exhaust gas is doing is powering the turbocharger, and because the turbocharger isn't connected to the car's crankshaft or wheels, it's not directly adding to the car's driving power in any way. It's simply enabling the same engine, to burn fuel at a faster rate, so making it more powerful. How much extra power can you get? If a turbocharger gives an engine more power, a bigger, better turbocharger will give it even more power. In theory, you could keep improving your turbocharger, to make your engine more and more powerful, but you will eventually hit a limit. The cylinders are only so big, and there's only so much fuel they can burn. There's only so much air you can force into them, through an inlet of a certain size, and only so much exhaust gas you can expel, which limits the energy you can use to drive your turbocharger. In other words, there are other limiting factors that come into play, that you have to take into account as well. You can't simply turbocharge your way to infinity, 